Now, we're celebrating a special birthday this week. It's an amazing 30 years since Meridian first began broadcasting to you. Our arrival was celebrated by a host of celebrity well-wishers and a live broadcast from Winchester at the stroke of midnight. We don't do that anymore. No, there's a reason for that. <laughs> In many ways, 1993 feels like a long time ago, but as Derek Johnson reports, looking back through the archives, it's all still pretty familiar. Nineteen ninety three was a new dawn for commercial television. Happy New Year as you join Meridian live from Winchester Cathedral, completed nine hundred years ago this year. And your new ITV station, Meridian, has been on air now for a little over nine seconds. This was the birth of a station promising to reflect the spirit of the South. Arriving with much fanfare and with stars to match the logo. Meridian. Congratulations, Meridian. Meridian. Good luck. Good luck, Meridian. You can trust Meridian. These guys are funny. Trust good luck, Meridian. Oh, good luck, Meridian. Two new shows were launched, including one from studios in Southampton. Hello there, a very warm welcome to the first ever edition of Meridian Tonight. And here at Meridian's Thames Valley News Centre at Newbury in Berkshire, our hopes for 1993 is that viewers in this, the new Meridian region, will find our news bulletins and particularly our six o'clock show, Meridian Tonight, absolutely irresistible. The franchise had passed from Southern to TVS. Now there was a new company and a new name. To get a clearer view of how the Meridian Broadcasting Company got its name, we're here in Greenwich. This is the Meridian Line. At this point, it measures nought degrees longitude and it's the centre of the world's time zones. It cuts through the heart of Meridian's broadcasting region. The broadcaster transmitted to the whole of southern England with a commitment to cover important local news stories, but with a lighter touch too, as demonstrated by young reporter Nick Knowles. Gertie the pig is a story with a happy ending, and we've tried to bring you many of those during this year on Meridian Tonight. Like, for instance, Charlie Bray, the twice world conquer champion, who told us how best to preserve your conquers. That involved a pig too. You've got to pass it through a pig if you want a good one. You got to what? Pass it through a pig. When I was a small lad, farmer told me this. Yeah. Cow. As you can see, they're completely bonkers. And finally, we found Gertie the pig a new home. The TV landscape has changed a lot in 30 years. The studios we use are much more advanced. In the 90s, everything was on paper. Now, like the rest of the world, the newsroom is linked by computers, and that's how we work. Plus, we have an online news service running alongside our TV output. The guiding principle, though, remains the same three decades on, to give you the news and to hopefully bring a smile to your day. Derek Johnson, ITV News. Oh, so many amazing memories. Who would have thought Meryl Streep I would know. have wished as well? Yeah. Also, a lot of pigs in that report. <laughs> oh, my God, there's so many funny stories. Yeah, really good. Liked it, enjoyed it. Happy <laughs> birthday, one and all. Right.